turn now to Washington, where the search is on to find a replacement for retiring Supreme Court Justice David Souter. For the bottom line, let's bring in Chief Washington Correspondent, host of This Week, George Stephanopoulos. Hey, George. Hey, Bill. Well, these are always uh, political title fights, a Supreme Court vacancy. <laughs> what, what is interesting about this year? Uh, well, this is President Obama's first pick, so we're going to learn an awful lot about President Obama, where he wants to take the court, and his political style as he makes uh, this pick. We're also going to learn what the Senate looks like and what the political world looks like now that the Democrats are approaching uh, that 60 votes in the wake of the switch from, of Senator Specter from the Republican uh, to the Democratic Party. And it's going to be a test for both sides, both for the president and his team and the Republican Party, as they figure out a way uh, to deal with this. Already, the president has been working on this. He's, ta he's talked to his team about possible Supreme Court picks. They hope to announce uh, someone in the next several weeks, probably before the Memorial Day uh, break. And, it's, and some of his potential picks are already drawing opposition from conservatives. For example, I think we have three names right here of, of top prospects, Judge Diane Wood from the Court of Appeals in Chicago, Judge Sonia Sotomayor from the Court of Appeals in New York, and also the new Solicitor General, Elena Kagan. Some conservative groups have already said that any one of these three choices, all of whom have been confirmed by the Senate, I should say, would be radical choices. They are urging Republicans to oppose them. Uh, the betting is, Bill, that the president will pick uh, a woman, strong chance he'll go with a Latina to have the first Hispanic on the court, but that's not definite. You mentioned the, the uh, party defection of Arlen Specter there. How would you characterize the reaction in that town? <laughs> uh, it depends on who you were talking to. A lot of Republicans said good riddance to Arlen Specter. Uh, Democrats were, of course, thrilled, although now uh, they're going to have this uh, idiosyncratic senator uh, as their problem uh, going as forward. The... But the most important thing, of course, is bringing the Democrats closer to 60 votes once Al Franken, who is likely to be seated to in right. Minnesota, takes his seat.